All right, everyone, we are back for the first round, and we are going to go play first and hopefully have two or three two drops. And we did make a final decision in deck building that we played the Tenem Crasher of Bulgari Charm because we felt we did need another trigger, especially since we don't have annihilating fires or explosive impact. Yeah, for uh, just having another hasty dork. Yeah, for anyone who couldn't hear, Zach broke up a little bit. We switched out the Golgari charm for the Tenement Crasher because we wanted another big guy to finish people off with, and the charm wasn't going to do a whole lot for our deck. Um, here we've got two swamps, Throw Kill Assassin, Gorehouse Chainwalker, chain Charm, Instinct, and Scorpion. I think that I'm going to have to mulligan this. I can play the Chainwalker, but that's it. I mean, the Throw Kill. What do you think? It's greedy, but personally, I would keep it. Uh, hope to get there. Yes. We're going to go for it. I mean, you have a great two drop. If That's you draw true. mountain, you have another great two drop. I think if I draw mountain, I'd lead with the chain walker, honestly. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But even if you don't draw it till turn three. Ah, oh, Slitherhead, why did you betray me? Oh, no. I'll drop Thrill Kill and I will unleash it. I love unleash, guys. It always makes me feel so. I don't know. Aggressive? Okay, yeah. we drew a forest. Not quite what we were looking for, but I am going to swing in for two because he didn't play anything and drop our slither head. Yeah, absolutely. One blue sway scorpion, so we're in. Yeah, we are like, in pretty I'm, good shape. I'm not upset about this start. Okay, let's see what he does. I'm over here playing assassins and zombies, and he's just playing red and blue. Hmm, interesting. Ooh, is it charm? No. What's he gonna do? Kill my Slitherhead with it? Wait, yeah, I was gonna say what? Maybe he's. he's I think he drew two discard too. Yeah, that seems so like a he, really, he had to be really land heavy. He just pitched two lands. Oh, he's searching for action. Got. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, that means we get to hit him for three, so I'm not upset. Provided he doesn't do anything, he did that at the end of my turn. Oh, gotcha. I thought he was really desperate. No, 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 not that desperate. Not yet, anyways. He is dropping a lobber crew. That's not good for us. That's fine. Throw kill attacks through that, no problem. Oh, that's true. Okay, let's see here. Gerard's orders. Well, we still need another land. That's but awkward, but... We're going to attack for right. two, and we're going to pass the turn. So, yeah, now any... Any land would be great, yeah. I honestly wouldn't mind going land, land, land here. Oh yeah, I'd be about that. Especially if one... Ugh, he's got a Gorehouse Chainwalker. Yeah. Get out of my colors! Is he unleashing it? Yeah, he unleashed it. That's Sweet. good for us. Means we with the Slither Head and then make our Thrill Kill Assassin bigger. Well, we drew our fourth land. I'm gonna swing with our Thrill Kill. Block with Slither Head when he swings with the 3-2. And then I'm just going to drop Sluice by Scorpion, right? Yeah. That also attacks through Lobber Crew. We just have all the Death Touchers. He pings us for What one. was your fourth land? A forest again. Cool. And you were breaking up kind of bad. Are you just in a bad spot in your house? That very well could be. Is that any better? A little bit. Just it keeps catching on the ends of some words. Hmm. He is swinging. I'm going to block with my slither head. Yeah, I have no problem with that. Prevents three damage, makes one of our guys bigger. And he didn't play anything. He just dropped a land. Ooh, we drew sl sl Sewer Shambler even. So I put... What, do I put it on Thrill Kill or do I put it on Sluice Way, you think? The slither head token. I would... I would put it on Thrill Kill just to make it not die to a night... Well... Yeah, to make it not die to Annihilating Fire. Sounds good to me. I'm going to crash in for five. And then we're going to drop Sewer Sampler. Yeah, that sounds great. Because Sewer Shambler will actually trade with Gorehouse Chainwalker if he bothers to swing in with it. And again, makes our guys bigger. I am mm -hmm. certainly not upset about that. Now we're doing fine. He's got five lands and is no action. We will have to watch when he plays his sixth land if he doesn't do anything. He might have the three four flyer. Oh, that's fair. But I don't think we really care. No, I don't think we do either. He swung with his three two, I'm blocking with my sewer shambler and making the trade. 
and he did pass his turn. So yeah, let's see what we got. I just I drew a dead reveler. So my options here are I can drop the dead reveler after attacking. I can sewer shambler onto one of my guys. Um, if I sewer shambler onto my thrill kill, it actually won't get killed by the flash flyer. Well, it won't be killed by it anyway. It's a three four. Oh, the then three... I, I just sewer yeah, you just swing those balls. But I d shamble onto scorpion. Then neither of them can be killed by it, right? I don't think we care if Scorpion dies. I think what's better, and just this is my line of thinking, if we attack with both, if he trades a Scorpion, do we care? Because then no, we just fine. drop Dead Reveler, unleash it, and then throw um, the Shambler or the Scorpion onto that guy, and he gets yeah. through Lobber Crew. Well, it looks like he is doing something. Because he certainly did not F6 through his turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ooh, Explosive Impact. Okay, on that's the fine. On kill. I mean, we had to get it out of his hand at some point. Yeah, I'm exactly. He takes two, and we drop Dead Reveler Unleashed. Yep. So yeah, now we can throw the Shambler onto that guy, and they both get through. And then actually, Dead Reveler won't die to uh, Explosive Revelation even. Or Impact. Yep. Revelation. say Revelation. Yeah, I don't know why I think that. Probably because most people, it's revealed that they're going to die when I cast that card. <laughs> Um, there is a fifth swamp, so I just sue a shambler onto my reveler and see what happens, right? Yeah. So I get he's got it another explosive impact. He's lobber crewing me for one. I'm expecting an auger spree actually right now. Yep, yeah. auger spree. I did not realize he played a black source. Yeah, he's got red, blue, black, and a promenade. He's like three colors, maybe four. Oh, well, I'm crashing in for two. Yep. And next turn I can draw its orders, throw, like, my flyer into the graveyard and get something. It'd be great if I drew a mountain, because then I could just go get Carnival Hellsteed. Yes, I agree. Electromancer, eh? That's fine. Well, now my sluice way can't swing in, but it's not a huge deal. I'm still at 14 to his five. I mm. drew another forest. So let's see, do we have any... We don't have any two-mana scavenge guys, do we? No. We could Gerard's orders for um, Dagger Drum Imp. And throw the bur the one thing into the grave? And throw the 3-3 three, three flyer into the grave. The question is, would we want to run the Dagger Drum out right now? Because hmm. if he's got another removal spell, it's just dead, no matter what removal spell it is. Granted, it's just dead when we try to pump it, either. Yeah, I was going to say, it's just going to die either way. Um, yeah, I think we go with Gerard's orders... Dump the bur the locust into the graveyard, put the dagger drum into our hand. And I think we just cast dagger drum. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. And I think you can actually even attack then for two. I don't want to just because if he trades and then has the removal spell, we're left with nothing to put um to okay. scavenge on to. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Good point. Okay. So we are still holding three unleashed cards, which... I mean, three red cards, which sucks. But... One of them's a Traitor's Instinct, so we actually have stand a good shot if he drops, like, a flyer and I draw a mountain. Yeah. Yeah, he might just outright be dead to that. Like, if he plays a Spiria Skywatch and you draw a mountain... God, that'd be brutal. Uh, he just dropped a Dead Reveler. I'm assuming it's leashed. I'm not sure yet. He unleashed it. Really? Yes. I guess he's on the aggro plan. <laughs> he, I just need him to drop two cards and then and me draw a mountain and I can kill him with Rakdos Charm. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, stab wound. This game is over. I just dropped that on the lava crew and swing for one, right? And he's got two turns yeah. to kill his own crew. Like, I don't do anything else, do I? No. I'll swing for one with my dagger drum. I'm assuming he's going to take it. Yeah, he takes it. So yeah, now you just stab wound that lava crew to death. Well, not to death. To his death, Him at to least. Death. <laughs> In worst case scenario, he kills his own lava crew. You know? Yeah, I'm not worried about that. He untaps and takes two. He has to kill his own guy this turn. Or Actually, deal 13 he has to, to me. kill his own guy. He also has to kill Dagger Drum Imp. And he has to kill Suicide Scorpion, essentially. Yep. Like... He pinged me for one. I might just. Augur's free his own guy here. Which would be hilarious. 
he's got to have something. Nope, he scooped. Okay, I was like, there's really not a whole lot you can have in that situation. You'd have. And we to were have... finally drawing our blood crypt next turn, followed by a, another Sluiceway Scorpion and a Carnival Hellsteed. Woohoo! That would have been. We were saucy. doing fine. Okay, do we want anything out of the side against this guy? Um, I don't think so. Like, Mind Rot's not unreasonable. No. It's but not... I don't know what we'd play it over. Yeah. Just try him since he doesn't have a ton of creatures. That might be true. He could have just not drawn them. That's um, true. I think Rax's Charm has a higher upside most of the time. Yeah. Especially since we didn't actually see anything scary out of him. Exactly. Like, he didn't drop anything free scary there for a while. I think I'm just going to submit it as it is, and we'll be on the draw this time, and we've already, we're have already we already up a game, so I'm okay with it, like it is. Uh, now if we... We can bring in... Stuff. Yeah. That's a good word. I like... Yeah, I like bringing in stuff if he's got anything bad for us, but... As it stands right now, I think that we're going to be able to pull this match out. Lots of things. At least it's going well... So yeah, seriously. And again, the fact that we could have drawn, you know, basically at any point, Mountain and Traitor's Instinct for the win. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. You have to respect Hey, we've got all card. three of our colors this time. <laughs> also, we have Grizzly Salvage, Goblin Ooze, and Hellhole Flailer, along with the Traitor's Instinct. This Ooh, is a good hand. Yeah, that is a very solid hand. No, we do not want a mulligan. We want to go Swamp Forest, Grizzly Salvage, then Hellhole Flailer. Um... And could you imagine if we hit like the locusts in our salvage? <laughs> oh God! And then turn like turn three, four, turn four. I have an eight six. Yeah, eight six is coming at you, and you better not let me untap with, because otherwise you're taking eight to the face. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, he dropped a guild mage on the two. Mmm. We have drawn dead reveler and sluiceway scorpion. Um, I still just pass and grizzly savage at the end of his turn. I'm actually. I just want to hit a lane. Yeah, I think that's right. We've got lots of good stuff. He crashes in for two. I probably should have Grizzly Savage during my turn, just in case, uh, b to play around, like, Syncopate. I don't really care if he Syncopates that. That's fair. And he just dropped a Dead Reveler. I think he's actually, f like, Grixis Aggressive, like we were originally thinking of going. He's probably the reason we couldn't get into it. Okay, we are throwing Slitherhead into the graveyard and taking the Rakdos Guildgate. We are unfortunately dropping Aerial Predation, Rakdos Charm, and Gerard's Orders into the graveyard along with it. That's fine. Our, our, the cards in our hand are all good, so I don't care. Yeah. Okay, and we drew another land. So we now have in hand Swamp Mountain, Guildgate, Hellhole Flailer, Instinct, Ooze, Reveler, and Sluiceway Scorpion. Um, so I think this is pretty easily just... Flailer unleashed. Is it? We'll take five from him. That's fine. I have no problem with that. Like we can help. We can flailer unleashed, and then next turn, um, I don't know. We can just set up for a very big couple of turns. Yeah. Followed by an eventual like automatic four four gibbering news from that Slitherhead. <laughs> Not quite sure what we're doing next turn yet, but me either. It might just be Dead Reveler. Uh, he had an Augur Spree for my Hellhole Reflailer. Okay. I think it's Scorpion now. Oh, yeah. Never mind. We have a Scorpion. Yeah. That's fine, then. And trade with his Reveler. And then we're actually in pretty good shape. Yeah. And then he has a Guild Mage, which sucks, but he's stuck on three lands. So yeah, I was going to say, if yeah, next turn we drop Scorpion after taking 5, and then play Gibbering is the turn afterwards. Make it a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, Lobber Crew. Yep. Ooze is going to be good, and it's a Gobbling, not a Gibbering. Oh, you're right. He's hungry. He's not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's kind of crazy that we're even playing it, so... Well, I'm excited to try it out. But we're making a 4-4 four, four ooze, and we're passing the turn. And he and played next, a Lobber Crew. I mean, next turn, we could actually just take his Lobber Crew and sacrifice it. Oh, God. That's pretty solid. After pinging him for one. Well, like, after pinging him for one. He is looting. He really needs some lands. We could actually just take Guild Mage, bash for four, and then eat the Guild Mage. That might be the better play. It might be the better play. He chump blocks the Guild Mage, I eat it. Because I drew my other instinct, so... 
Oh, yeah, absolutely, then. We snap do that. Okay, we will drop our guild gate. Ooh, we could drop Chainwalker and Dead Reveler this turn. Mm. Unleash them both. And then do the whole... Did he play a land? No, he looted, did nothing. He pitched a Rakdos ringleader. He's okay, playing so yeah, Rakdos I would ringleader. attack for four and then yeah, play the... Two guys unleashed. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. Because next turn it'll be a huge game once we trade Earth's Instinct as Guy. Yeah. And we get to do it for two turns in a row. Oh, he's It's dead. brutal. He's like, like, this is really tough for him to come out of. Um, I'm just going to unleash both of my guys. And then I've got six mana. And he's just not in a good position at that point. He's most likely going to crash in for two here with his guild mage, because I can't block it. Puts me to ten from because he hit me with the crew. But that's not a huge deal. We're fine at ten. He's a, He did finally draw a fifth land. So, I mean, essentially, we're at nine life. Paralyzing which... Grasp, you dick. That's fine. And Dagger Drum Imp. Why are you playing an right. imp in your deck? That does seem a little strange. Okay, hey, whatever. I'm gonna go Swamp. I steal his Guild Mage? Yeah, I Bash. think it's still just steal Guild Mage with everything. Come here, Guild Mage. Nom nom. Still Swings. get the sense. Get through, so whatever. Yeah, exactly. Paralyzing Grasp is not a rest, in case you didn't know. No. I mean, he blocks one of my three power guys here with his Lava Crew, most likely. Yeah, he's blocking the Reveler, taking seven. And then I get to eat his guy with my ooze. And yeah, we go down to. We're at he's 10, up. he's at 9. He's hitting me for 9, so we're tied up. He'll most likely swing in with Dagger Drum Mint, but I can take that next turn with Trader Sense Things and gain 3 life. Yeah, seems good. Ooh, Catacomb Slug. I might actually take that. Because breaking through that's like going to be better impossible. Big, yeah. Did he attack with the Imp? Yes. Sweet. Puts us to 8, so yeah. I'm unfortunately only drawing Lance at this point, but I'm going to take this... Catacomb Slug here, and crack in, get in for another um, probably seven. Or seven, yeah. Because he blocks probably Reveler again, takes seven, goes to three. Then he can't crack in with his Dagger Drum Imp. And that puts us, because he's on three, so he has to be able to block with both of his guys. We're on eight, eight. right now, so he's yeah. pinging us to seven... Untap, leaves both guys back, and tries to draw into something. And I mean, I can now Sluice Way Scorpion onto something. But she then has to block with uh, probably the Dagger Drum Imp and block the three power guy with Lava Crew. Oh, he is swinging in with the Imp. He must have something to play. I wonder if he has Explosive Impact. That'd be bad. Because we're actually dead to that. Yeah, we are. But he also doesn't have a six land. Oh, he doesn't? Okay, never mind then. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah that's right. Alright, well, I'm going to Scorpion onto the Reveler, I think. Because he can just... He can uh, kill the Gorehouse Chainwalker. I guess he can kill either one of them in response with Augur Spree, but... I think that Reveler is better. Well, and how much mana do you have? A lot. So we could actually scavenge onto both of them, because we have both Locust and the Scorpion in the Grave. We have Locust. That was last oh, game. no, that was last game. My bad. Okay, so yeah, we can just... I'm just doing that, bashing with a 5-6 and a 3-2. Yep. He blocks. He has to block the 5-6, I'm assuming, which puts him to 1, unless he's got some sort of flash thing. But he doesn't have 6, so he can't have the skyline. I don't know what he's got. Pings me for 1, Augur Spree's something? 1, 2... Is it charms my Gorehouse Chainwalker, untapping his guy, blocking my 5 power dude, pinging me to 4, attacking with the Dagger Drum Imp, maybe? But yeah, he has to block here or he dies. So, he ping... He forgot to ping me down to four. Nah. I got away with that. <laughs> so, so I'm at five, he's at four. He's got a dagger drum imp to block. We're fine. I mean, we've got a five, six. I would love to draw aerial predation right now. Yes, no kidding. Oh, jeez. He drops oh, Electromancer. And passes turn. I okay. just ripped another forest. Uh, so many lands. I'm holding a swamp. I played a forest. This happens to me way too often. I'm going to crash <laughs> in with my 5-6. Yep. He blocks with his imp, putting him to 5. 
which yeah, means turn. that's still lethal. So unless he has annihilating fire, he might just he might have the explosive impact. And it's just he has it. Him. Yep, he has it. Because he played the Electromancer, which dropped it to five and kills me. Oh man! God, I was drawing land for the next three turns. Ugh, yeah, we needed any non-land card in order to actually close that game. Yeah. I think that we played it right. We just hit a patch of land, which you'll have on Moto sometimes. Oh, yeah. Um, Let's see here. Do I need to bring anything in? Trestle Troll's not good against him, is it? I mean, he's got a bunch of quick guys, apparently, now. No, I mean... We're like, on the play gonna this time. going to be on time. the play. Like, mostly better than his. Yeah. I think we just have to see if if we can play a little more carefully, if we yeah. can. Like, a lot we could have done there. But. No, there, there wasn't much we could do there. We just ripped, like, four or five lands in a row, so... Yeah. We are going to submit as is and be on the play. I like this plan. I like being on the play, in general. I, I feel like if we'd been on the play there, we probably could have forced through that last couple points of damage at some point. Well, we would have actually, potentially, had one turn where he didn't have Paralyzing Grasp. Yeah. The Grasp really hurt us. Like, um, I don't have any way to get rid of that, do I? I guess I could bring in the charm and destroy an enchantment. I don't think it's worth it. I... Is it better than Rakdos Charm, though? Well, think about that situation. Rakdos Charm would have... A... Done two? Yeah, all right. It would have put him to one, I guess. Yeah, we're already going in. I already hit submit. All right, yes, we would like to play first. We have green and black, Stab Wound, two Sluiceway Scorpions, Rakdos Charm, and Traitorous Instinct. So we got to get there on this hand, but if we do, we're fine. This hand is really slow, though. It's really slow. I think we mulligan. I think we have to. Like, without a two-drop, like, if we had Thrill Kill Assassin in our worse. hand, Snap Keep, but... Uh, Gorehouse Chainwalker, Dead Reveler, Thrill Kill Assassin, Sluiceway Scorpion, Forest Forest. Oh, man, really? Yeah. I think we can keep this, just because... Going to five, we won't be able to beat him. We just have to draw lands. Well, and any non-forest land is good. Yeah. No, I will not go down. So I think... Oh, that's awkward. But yeah, I think this is fine. I want to draw my Blood Crypt right now is what I want to draw. That would be insane. What do we get? Grizzly Salvage does not help. Land pass. Ouch. It's mocking us, Zach. Apparently. And he's got a Shred Freak. I'm going to lose to a guy with Shred Freaks in his deck. Shred Freak is fine. It's not good, but it's fine. There's a Swamp. Okay, Dead Reveler Leashed? Yeah, that sounds good. Because then he can't swing in with the two-power guy. He played Swamp Swamp to start this game. That's weird. Apparently he's really heavy black. Um, he's stuck on two lands. Deal. Yep. I'm going to salvage here, see if I can't get a uh, either another Swamp and play the Thrill Kill, or a Mountain and play one of the two Gorehouse Chainwalkers that are now in my hand. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, there is a Mountain here. I will take that. Anything good? Uh, Slitherhead, Trader Sinsinks, and Area Predation are going to the graveyard along with the Forest. So, Slitherhead's not bad. That's um, awesome. I think I just throw down an Unleashed Gorehouse Chainwalker past the turn. Yeah, absolutely. Well, because, yeah, next turn we can make it a 4-3 with Slitherhead yeah. and Bash. Do I make it a 4-3 right now? No, because he could have any no. number of things. He could have, like, an ultimate prize. Yeah, I would just leave it. I don't think there's any benefit to doing it now. Yeah. He dropped a third land. He got a mountain, so he still doesn't have any Paralyzing Grass or anything, but... He does have Augur's three mana up, though. That's true. One, two, three, Lobber Crew. That's fine. Yeah, I'll make I am, a 4-3. I am okay with that. Because I can make a 4-3 and drop a Sluiceway Scorpion, which seems great. Yes, absolutely. Ooh, Rakdos Charm is not bad either here. That's actually pretty good, yeah. So yeah, I mean, this Slither is easy, though. Just Scorpion plus 4-3 Bash. Yep. I love that our Dead Reveler is holding off Shred Freak like crazy. Get you know, four. that guy's not half bad on the defense. Like Three toughness isn't awful for three mana here. Exactly. I mean, he's obviously better as a 3-4, but can't do anything about that. Yeah, he drew a fourth land. So now we're all evened up on the land count. Okay. But he okay. still does not have blue, so... That's good. 
Whereas we've got all of our colors. Mwaha. Yay, I, Grizzly Salvage. Dude, the card's awesome. Ash Zeal it. Black. That's not that big of a deal. I mean, it holds off Sluiceway Scorpion, but... Okay. Ooh, Traitorous Instinct. That will come in handy. Yes. I, do I just drop... I swing with, swing with my 4-3. He may trade with his Zealot and his Shred Freak, but I'm fine with that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'm just going to swing with my 4-3 and see what happens. You have four mana, right? Yeah. He is Com double blocking. Um, oh, I'm going sweet. to get the Zealot first. So is there anything you could have for black, black? Nope, it is just dead. Now I could just drop Chainwalker, Thrill Kill, both unleashed, right? Absolutely. We will get in there. He's going to Labra Crew us down to 19, or no, 17, right? Yep. <laughs> this is bad for him. I now have four guys on the field to his one. Yeah, and we have a Traitorous Instinct sitting in our hand. This yep. is not good for him. Is See, this is why that card is good. I told you. Eh. He has his own Chainwalker, which is coming down leashed. Of course. Okay, I drew Carnival Hellseed, which is going to come in handy very soon. Once I get Jeez. two more lands. Jeez, yeah. Um, I don't think I take his Chainwalker right now, do I? I mean, if I do, that's a four power, so he can't block with Lava Crew. Uh, he blocks Lava Crew on my Chainwalker most on my Chainwalker most likely. Takes one, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and goes to six. I don't think that's worth it. I think I just bashed with my Thrill Kill, my Dead Reveler, and my Sluiceway Scorpion. Agreed. I don't think there's any reason to... Actually, I think you can attack... Well, no. Uh... Leave... No, I, I'd sing with the Chainwalker, too. If he trades, he trades. Um, it well, gets his guy off the field. We have in our hand. Don't we? Yeah, but just deals one damage to controller. What would have... How would Rakdos Charm help? Like, if he has more creatures on the field, I guess eventually that's, that's better. So do I keep the Chainwalker back? Nah, just attack. I think that it's attack. He trades with it. I get his guy off the field. Yeah, I don't really care about that. I think I'm getting in for four. He's blocking the Dead Reveler, trades Chainwalker to Chainwalker. Um, yeah, that's exactly what's happening. I'm take, getting him down to 12, and I pass turn. Yeah, unfortunately, but yep. Drops me to 16. I mean, I'm still winning this race currently. He's still stuck on four lands. Still no blue. One, two, Dagger Drum Imp. That's not a problem. Because it can't kill any of my guys. I was going to say, that doesn't even trade with anything, so that's fine. Ooh, Hellhole Flailer. I think I just bash and drop the Flailer, right? Absolutely. Jeez. Talk about a big game. Yep. Two, three, crash in. He blocks Lava Crew against Dead Reveler, most likely. Takes four again, is what I'm assuming. Yep, he puts himself to eight, and I go Flailer. Unleashed, obviously. Oh, yes, Unleashed. Oh, man. Because he's actually dead next turn now. Yeah, exactly. He he's found a fifth land, board. but is still not a blue source. Like he, I th he might, he probably has the auger spree for the flailer. He better do it now. One, two, nope, another lava crew. Oh, that's fine. Because I now have multiple ways I can finish him off. There's another swamp. I crash in with everything. See how much damage we deal. Wait, wait, wait. What is no. he at? He's at eight. I crash in with everything. Can you trade your instinct? Kill him is what I'm curious about. Um, the dead reveler. I've already I moved to combat it at this point. It's too late, but um, that would have actually been lethal. I think it might have been. I, but I think here that I'm fine holding back, so I've got the mana for Hellhole Flailer. If I deal four to him, he's just dead. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. See, he has to make really poor blocks here. He gets to keep one of his lava crews. Um, I keep all four of my guys. And he goes to seven. Yeah, I think that that was right. Because now, this next turn coming up, I can Traitor's Instinct his guy. And actually, well, actually depending win. on what he does, you can Rakdos Charm end of turn. Like, Get if he plays another creature to put him to four, and then just untap and flailer him. Well, I mean, he's he's a, only got the one Lava Crew left. He scooped. We've got Oh, it. that's right. Okay, yeah, I forgot we killed on his cruise. Yeah. I think that was right, though, to hold on to the Traitor's Instinct, because I was not losing any of my creatures bashing in. Um, well, no, but I was just thinking about it, because if you take Imp, it becomes a three-power guy. Because he was at eight, correct? Yes. So you have Imp, You he blocks four-power guy and Dread Reveler. You have Imp and... 
Um, oh, wait. I don't think it's lethal. Uh, I think that what I did was still the safer play. Yeah, no, I agree with that. It's hard for me to like sit here and try and picture it. Put it yeah, 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 you not being able to see does suck, but he's got three guys. I take his one. I've got a three one. He's got two blockers. He blocks Hellhole Flailer, and he blocks Dead Reveler. So I get in for three, four, five, six, seven. And then Rakdos Trump kills him. No, because I only had five lands. No, but like, like he's he has to gain life or die to Rakdos Trump. I guess it's here, but he does get his imp back. Which only puts him to two life. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so that was a guaranteed lethal play. So that might have been a misplay, actually. I think that your play was fine. I, but it, I, I honestly don't think there was anything he could draw to get out of it. Like, even Street Spasm for two doesn't really do anything. Well, he didn't even have mana for two. Yeah, he but... would have had to draw a land and a Street Spasm. But I'm going to go ahead and end this round, guys. And we'll be back for round two, okay?